Greetings, guys and girls, fellow gamers. My name is Games for Kicks, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. What a night it was! We got absolutely destroyed. We it was unbelievable. Okay, so I'm down to my 80 wellness again. <laughs> I, I wasn't 70 wellness. I do listen. I did actually increase my uh, wellness with the perk, but I don't actually know how many points I have. How many points do I have? Can I increase it even more? I think I can. Um, I have well, I have 38 points. Like I don't want to really waste them just yet. What is the fixer actually? Ah, repair time. We don't really need to quicker crafting. Crafting time. Yeah, the next time I have a problem with something, I wish it would be faster or better. I'm gonna look if there's a matching perk. I think we did actually quite well last night. The bear was just me being a complete moron, because obviously I could have just shot it in the ass with the blunderbuss and saved myself the hassle of actually, um, dying. So that could have been a thing that, that, that could have gone better. So what the idea is, is to repair everything here, because this is our... This is supposed to be our base for the 14-day horde. We have a lot of work to do, guys, okay? So I'm going to have to clean up the front yard because the guys left an absolute mess behind. I mean, this is this is why I don't sanction these parties. Like, I mean, as, as the mayor of this town, I have to say, I'm very disappointed with the neighbors and the rough house parties they have. It is just unacceptable. I mean, look at this. There's, like, dead bodies everywhere. I mean, who likes to have a house party and then come home and says, Oh, great, dead bodies to clean up. Now, somebody... I don't know if I got this... I understood this right or not. One of you guys was telling me that you use this porch as a killing floor. And I think if I understood you right, you were talking about this building. You see, I still get a lot confused between smotted seven days and seven days to die vanilla. That when somebody leaves a comment and I think about it like five minutes later without looking at the video, I'm like, oh shit, did they, are, were they talking about modded or were they talking about vanilla? I don't remember. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if that theory fits because all we have to do is replace these guys down there with rebar frame and upgrade them. So, let's see. Now, I made a lot more of those plunder... Why does... That is weird. They're stuck at 128. These stuck at 250. Why can't they just make them stuck 250? It's... That's just weird. Anyway. Also, this is... What is this? Oh, look at that. And, yeah, you guys were telling me that using the shovel actually on that is much quicker. Which we're also gonna do. So, this is... We're gonna pick this up because we need the resources look at this just one hit with the shovel awesome okay we probably need more than one hit for that but anyway the idea is i'm going to i i kind of want to build a wall around here and then i don't really need to worry about the killing floor but i will have that anyway in case the breaks through but we need to build something around here we need we, we can't just leave it like that and we only have four days to do it so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go and uh, check if we have actually a lot uh, what resources we have and then make a list of what I, what we need and then go and go oh look at that did that destroy my no they didn't okay good ah okay so let's see what we need how much cement we have a thousand cement in there and we can make only 250 more, so we need more stone. So, yes, let's just put all that stone in there. Absolutely awesome. Then, why am I making so much forged iron? I don't remember. I don't know. I have to I have to try to remember. I don't remember. So, I make loads of rebar frames here, because I want to take them with me to use them as... Uh, yeah, actually, let's do that. And can we make a workbench? Because then I could... A cement mixer. I think you guys were saying to use the really bad engines for the cement mixer. So I'm going to use that and see if I can make a cement mixer. You see, I am reading your comments. And I'm not just blindly replying, going like, oh, yeah. But uh, we need a scrap cable and five springs. We, sh we should have that. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, look at that. Very lucky to have a, a cable, actually, there. And we need one small engine, which we have, and four iron pipes. And, oh, yeah, that's what the forged iron probably was for well if it wasn't it is now and we need pipes so if i just put this here oh why do i have that and pipes 
Okay, so let's make the cement mixer. And let's make a workbench as well if we can. A workbench, which is... Ah, yeah, all we need is five more springs. Excellent. And then we can queue it up. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Oh, what am I missing? Oh, another... Yeah, we need another 23 forged iron. Okay, so forged iron is the thing now that we need. Forged iron... 23 and we have two here okay excellent i'm going to take these guys with me now once they hit 100 come on nice and we're gonna go downstairs and i'm gonna start fixing up the house and i'm gonna replace all the wood that's why i made so many wood frames because um let's just after that mixer is done we're just gonna make a concrete mix and we need more sand. There's a lot of sand outside, so we don't really have any shortage of sand. Let's just start with that. Oh, stone. Okay, yeah. Anyway, you can see I need a lot of resources. But luckily in this game, unlike in the smarted version, we have a lot of better with a lot better tools, so it shouldn't take too long. Um, I'm not gonna montage this because I want to focus more on the building. So the gathering of the resources, I'm probably gonna leave out because I make I want to make as much this episode about building and the how we're gonna make this what we call it again the 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 murder hole or whatever you want to call it. And yeah, I want to focus on that. So anyway, I see you guys probably in a second. They'll to use in a second. To me, it's probably gonna be about half an hour. So I see you guys in a second. I've been looking around everywhere. There was a plane, there was a supply drop, and I have no idea where it is. It landed somewhere around here, and I don't know where it is. Damn it. I've been looking. I'm sure it's... Oh, there we go. Nice. Hiding behind a rock, you little bastard. Oh, let's see. Oh, look at that. Yes, the spiked club. Oh my god, this is so amazing. The rocket launcher, drugs, and beakers. My life is now complete. This is so wonderful. This is amazing. Oh man, this is great. So let's read these before anything happens because I think we can't make the spike club yet. So if I look at that, yes. And this guy is awesome. So this is the strongest club as far as I know. And because this is not modded, uh, so this... Oh! Hi! Hey! Psst, psst, psst. Hey! Come here! Come closer! Oh! Love it! Thank you! Come again! Okay! And what do we have? The rocket launcher! Ooh! Can we make that already? Rocket launcher! No! Oh yeah, we can! So in this case, we read it and we should get extra um, points in gunsmithing! Okay, it's a gun! Fair enough! This is awesome! I like it! Nice! Okay, so I'm gonna run back to the village I just wanted to share that moment with you because there's no point. I was looking for it and I wasn't sure if I'm going to find it. I knew it was kind of here uh, in the area because I lost the orange thing. You can see I have the drink on me. I took the grain alcohol the moment I saw it. And now I have to find my way back. Where's my way back? Actually, are we close to the treasure chest? No, we're not. So I'm just going to run back instead. So let's do that. Okay, I see you guys back at the village. We are doing a lot of work on the house. And I might actually, while I'm here, I have to pick up some sand. Where can I find some sand? Probably anywhere, I suppose. So, see, there's sand here. But that's very far out. So I'm not going to run there now. Well, we can get loads of stones. And then we can just, worst case scenario, make sand from stones. Which is a bit of a waste of stones. But hey-ho. Hey. Hey. Chicken. Chicken. Oh, how can you... Okay, that's it. You gotta get a smack. Oh, where, where are you? The little bastard. Where are you? Where? He outrun me. I got outwitted by a chicken. How can you get outwitted by a chicken? That's impossible. Damn it. I lost the chicken. Actually, another thing while we're out here. Look at this. Ooh. Balls, this is amazing. Let's go down here because... Oh, hello. <laughs> How dumb are you? You should have run away while you had a chance. 
Anyway, look what we have here. We don't have any room, okay? I have to throw out the dirt, I have to throw out the grass, I have to throw out... No, we keep the bones, throw out the jar, and we keep the sand. I don't know where you're coming from. Oh, hello! Then come on, come in. It's it's free for all. Do we have the light on? Yeah. It's free for all. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's throw out the grass again. So what we have here is the chance to get some... Oh, look at that. Some iron or something. Um, and potassium and stuff. But Well, potassium not too... Oh, look at that magnum crib. Holy balls. I'm going to throw out the bones. Screw the bones. Okay. Oh, this looks amazing. But I'm a bit terrified that if a zombie comes from the top, I'm going to be dead. Oh, look, there's iron. I think there's iron. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Oh, is, there, is there any of the shiny stuff? No, that's stone. That's stone. Oh, there. Is that stone? That's all stone. Yeah, I thought there was some shiny thing on it. No, oh, up there. Look at that. Oh, let's go up there. That is awesome. This looks so awesome. I think we have metal. Let's get there. Okay, let's see if that is metal or not. So, we're just gonna get ourselves a little path here. Actually, you know what? Screw that. We're just gonna, um, yeah, lose, use the rebar frames for a second. It doesn't matter. So, let's do that. And get up. And get up. And get up again. So, there we go. Excellent stuff. So, let's see what we have here. Is this, oh, that's potassium. Oh, I thought it was metal or something. Oh, what do we have here? Nice! Yes! Oh, this is awesome! Come on, make some... Oh, they... look at this! It's like a hidden crave! Oh, man! This is awesome! Oh, my lord. This... I just can't... Speechless... Just can't... Absolutely amazing. Okay. Um, I don't... I... It's... Uh... Okay, what are we going to get rid of? Okay, we actually have loads of clay. This shovel digs up like 40 clay a piece. It's amazing. Okay, that's coal. Don't care about coal. Stop picking up coal. We care about... Oh, yeah, metal. Yes, metal. Oh. Why didn't we pick it up? There, 103. Very nice. What is that? That's lead. Oh, man, we have to pick up the lead. Screw the coal. We have loads of coal at home. There we go, lead. Oh, this is sweet. Nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's potassium. Don't care about that. Oh, man, this is sweet. I'm going to do a little bit of collecting here. And then I'm going to see you guys back at the village. Because I don't want to waste too much time doing this. Because I want to spend more time showing you more the building. Or what we're going to do with the building. And it's also already midday. So, yeah, we're running out of time. So we don't have the luxury, really, of um, too much of that. Oh, man, this is amazing. I love this. Okay, guys. And uh, I'm going to have to show you probably... What we've done so far, just it's got it's gonna take a long time. Um, I'm running out of sand non stop. I'm gonna have to go on a big stone grind, but I actually already pretty much killed a lot of stones around here, so I'm probably gonna have to. Yeah, there's no more stones left around here, so there's more stone here. Yeah, we're gonna have to go into this side of the um village and get more stone i'm gonna show you what the plan is basically this get this here is gonna be all upgraded to wood uh, i'm not gonna upgrade this oh yes i can now finally this is an exception usually i wouldn't upgrade this one down there but um anyway so the idea is that um log spike yeah okay how many can we make 94 let's make 75 to start with actually let's make 50 because i don't have enough wood to do everything okay so we're making concrete mix here we are making log spikes and basically what we're gonna do is this is the ground surface now there's a lot of wood surface here in the front because we have that here as well the trap door which uh, is leading into our basement as you can see here and um, the idea is to have the log spikes here on top of that so I'm not really too fussed about... Yeah, this will be upgraded only once. 
I'm not gonna waste... Uh, I upgraded it twice here before I started actually using my brain. Uh, it's usually the case. Like, before I start using my noggin, I actually do stupid things first. There we go. Nice. Okay, so... The idea is to have the log spikes here on top. Then... All everywhere here, basically. In between. And all that jazz. And then the zombies come and go... Arr. Yeah, and they're gonna stand here on top. No, what? They're gonna stand here on top. They're gonna be able to hit this. The dogs and the crawlers will be able to hit this. But here, we're gonna do that um, design we were talking about with the concrete blocks. So we're gonna make these quarter concrete blocks or whatever. So there we go. So this is gonna be all open for rebar. Nice, here we go. Excellent. So, and then up there we're gonna put wood again. Like, we can leave the, the top wood, that's fine. So let's fill this up so you can see basically what this will look like. So here we go, boom, boom, boom. And that's it. Down there we're not gonna need to fully upgrade. I think one is enough. This is only really when the wood breaks, the log breaks. So there will be here our R, but I will be on the inside with... Um, the half slabs here or the quarter slabs of concrete here and be able to hit them in the face and get rid of them now down dogs and all that yeah we're probably not going to be able to hit them unless what we can do is we can um stand here on something and we can make the concrete too high instead of just one and then we can shoot the dogs from an angle here if you know what i mean so we're gonna have two concrete pieces up and you basically have a two block slot so you can probably aim down fine enough to hit, shoot them in the head so that's the plan this is gonna go all the way around the wood spikes will be all on top and we're gonna make the typical wooden rump design then where we have the wooden rumps leading up into the spikes it's gonna be two rows of spikes around the house so all this is gonna be still took up and that was mainly the decision for that was mainly done because the cellar entrances are actually too wide already and I didn't want to make them one shorter and destroy the rock, so end of story. There we go. And that's it. And then these guys here, okay, here we'll probably have a bit of an exception that we... Yeah, we have an exception. Now ah, we make it, yeah, why? Screw it. Anyway, this is where the... What should we call it? The, the ramps will go then to lead them up. Well, over here, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. And um, yeah, that's that. So this is what the design currently is. And I hope you um, kind of can see what's happening. And it's a lot of work that has to go in. I mean, over here, we still have to put all the rebar in. It's a lot of, like, luckily, this is all quick. And this can be done very quick. So here we go. Just put the rebar in here. And then upgrade that to... There you go. And this is the most important part, to upgrade this already. Now, I'm not going to upgrade this here because that's my only way in right now. So, <laughs> I need to keep taking this out like because I can't find another way in in the moment. Because I had to remove the door, of course. So, yeah, I'm going to probably see you in the morning again. Because I'm going to have to work through the night. Um, I don't think there will be many zombies. I'm going to... Oh, okay, we leveled up again. I'm going to make sure I turn the fire off upstairs so that we don't attract any of them. And that should be then... Uh, whoa. Take away the step here so we don't make it too easy for them to get in. There we go. Alright. Okay, we have to be very, very quiet. This is basically what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do what we did before, where I'm gonna take the stone all the way out on the bottom. And then we're gonna let it fall, and that way we're gonna get sand out of it as well. Just have to be so quiet. I know they can't hear me talk or whisper either way, but we have to be quiet. I can hear footsteps, but I think it's just somebody, like a single one, roaming around somewhere. But we'll see. So that's really all I'm gonna do. Be, uh, I'm gonna be doing during the night, and I see you guys back at the base with all the resources. All right. Okay. So we nearly finished. 
Um, well, it was the episode, so holy balls, this is a lot of work. Like, this is a hell of a lot of work. So let me actually just queue up a couple of more wood frames. My inventory is full. I can't get any more resources. So let's do wood frames. Oh, 400. No, 200. Yeah, let's make two, oh, 100. And then that we have enough left over to upgrade shit. Excellent, yes. So we're going to have to put loads. Look at this. Like, I dug up the whole front nearly. I just have these guys left here now. And, um, oh, whoops. I just have these guys left here now. And I have to upgrade the wood that's coming from the basement. So let's do that. Let's put the pistol here. There we go. Luckily, the claw hammer, like you guys said, is a one hit uh, upgrade, which is awesome. So I don't have to worry about anything. Genie Mac, that's like, that's like the nail gun. <laughs> Wow, boom, 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 look at that, all one hit, bada bim, bada bam, bada boom, bada bim, bada bam, this is awesome. Anyway, a little bit of rhythm there, like, <laughs> oh shit balls, <laughs> that was one too many, no, anyway, so let's upgrade these guys here, and let's start putting at least in the front here the wood logs down, and actually, eh, we need to upgrade that, and we need to upgrade that. And we need to upgrade that. Excellent. So we're gonna upgrade these guys here in the front. Then... Oh, what? Who? Ah, are you for real? Are you kidding me? Oh, man. Now I have a wandering horde. Are you bloody... Oh, why are you... Okay, stop making... Okay. That's it. That's it. There we go. Right in the face! Oh, boom! In the balls! Don't you hit me! What? You you were supposed to be already dead! There you go, now you're dead, yeah? Okay, thank you. Ah! And, ah! Oh, balls, you have a hard noggin! Oh, you're still alive! Jesus! Okay, now, oh, tablets, good. What else do- Oh, man! Yeah, throw dirt, throw brass. Um, throat lead, tanks, eat this. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that, how quickly we got that sorted. Oh, balls. I really want to loot some... Okay. Oh, shit! <laughs> wait for some stamina and come back. I want to loot this guy as well. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, paper, don't care. There we go. Okay, it was only a roaming horde, so it's 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 okay. We can we can deal with that. Come on, nice. Now these are steel arrows, as far as I know, so they definitely should hit hard. There we go. Nice. Oh, there we go. Okay. So if there's any tablets on anything, oh look at that, nice. Eat that. Yeah, I don't. I'm not. I'm too good for cat food. I'm not eating cat food. Ooh, ooh, nice pasta. Oh, look at all that. Now it doesn't really matter. We're gonna keep all that anyway, and let's just loot him. Is there anything amazing on it? No. Okay, no recipes, no nothing. Ah, yeah, screw that. Okay, so wow, this was luckily not a scream or anything because I guess that could have turned really ugly really fast. So. Let's finish the front. Oh, look at this. This is so therapeutic. I mean, you guys who actually play Seven Days today, this is amazing. I mean, I could just stand there and dig up something for hours without ever getting tired of it, if you know what I mean. So, let's finish this off. Excellent. Nice. Oh, man. The den, the den, the den, the den. It's like one of those games like... Uh, has a geo geometry dash or something. <laughs> it's like you have to focus and always go bam, ba dam, ba dam, and find the patterns, find the rhythm, go along. Ba, ba, da, ba, da, da, da. Anyway, so okay, I could just go on forever now. We can already put the wood logs down here, I would say, yeah. We need to upgrade that and that. Oh, I have no more wood. Holy balls, seriously, no more wood. Oh, man.
And hopefully we can just upgrade that. Nice. Okay. Excellent. Nice. Sweet. Oh, a little repair there needed. We're going to upgrade these fully as well. And this is basically what it's going to look like. This is exactly what it's going to look like. So, okay, I'm, I don't want to go too far because I need to upgrade all these. And we're going to have it here like that. And then here I'm going to leave it free for the moment. But it's literally going to be like that, fully covered, including here. We're going to have these guys here on top. And we're going to have all this upgraded with uh, rebar. And on the top, we're going to have the concrete slabs, the vertical concrete slabs going in the second row. And that should definitely be enough to withstand a horde that we actively fight. I think so. I think. And um, we don't have enough iron bars, but this here is very good. I like that. I mean, look. Ah, look at that. Sweet. I think we have no more. Iron. One, two, three, boom. I know there's a bit of a waste and I probably could have cut them down and just put them, uh, put concrete in there straight away. Because you can make actually rebar cones. But um, I was just too lazy to do that. So, excellent. I'm going to leave this episode here. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope I see you guys in the next episode. Until then, as always, viel Spaß and happy gaming. This is some work, so much work to do still. So.